<laughs> I'm a little worried about this show, this topic right now. Because we both like this too much. I'm, I'm worried I'm going to lose my objectivity. Well, you could lose it, I think, with this first coffee because it's lovely coffee and a very distinctive mm -hmm. in the nose. We're talking about the nose now. I should clarify that uh, we talk about the aroma first and then we talk about the cup, how it tastes. And right now we're on the nose. It's very deep resonant, has a kind of buttery yeah, depth that also has a, it's sweet, but it's a very savory at the same time. Yeah. What are you getting? I'm uh, really surprised at how good this smells. First time I've smelled this particular coffee. Sometimes I've tasted the coffees before the show. Uh, not in this case. Well, you know, it's, it's big, it's balanced, it's deep. It has a kind of a resonant acidity. It doesn't call attention to itself. It's buried deep inside the heart of the coffee. Balance of sweet, savory, superb. And in some ways, the flavor, I think, or the aroma is so layered that it's hard to even pick out. I guess you could say that there's raisin in it, a kind of a malty, well, we'll call it earthy because I would guess with this one, we have Sumatra as the Java component that's processed by the so-called wet hold method, which I won't carry on about because I have talked too much already, but it's a wet hold. It, it produces what people think of as a classic Sumatra cup, which is a kind of a, a, an earthiness uh, technically, uh, I guess, a kind of mustiness, but a kind of a malty earth. And there's, the fruit could be raisin, cherry, some kind of tree fruit, peach, apricot, apricot. Might be. So, so let's try it. Well, as often is the case, a little disappointing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's amazing is how often right. that is. It's not really an insult to the cup. I think it's more of a, comp a comment on how much heat it really affects taste because as they cool, usually they get closer. It's sharp, viewers. This is, <laughs> this is what we're reacting to as a kind of a, a dry sharpness. The earthy notes are a little drifting towards something a little metallic, maybe. Mm -hmm. The sweetness is still there. Kevin, if you go past the swallow to the finish, you'll find that it sweetens, right? Yeah, it sweetens mm -hmm. again yeah. as it does in the nose. I like the yeah. aftertaste. First thing I noticed getting better. It's very sweet. It recovers some of the sweetness, roundness, resonance that we got in the nose. The Sumatra, I assume the Sumatra, it could be another caught wet hulled Indonesian coffee. And as far as the mocha element, I think this could be actually a mocha up from Yemen, a Yemen coffee. I would guess it probably is. Because if it were Ethiopia, I think it would be cleaner, a little less clean. Maybe some musty elements to the natural sweetness. But that's just a, that's a pretty wild guess. That's what I'd guess. I'd guess a Yemen coffee and a, a Sumatra wet hold. It's sweetening as it cools. It is. It's, it's a better cup of coffee than it was when, when we started drinking it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Big, uh, big argument for having a phone call before you start your cup of coffee in the morning. It has the kind, that <laughs> fruit is turning really nicely cherished for me. Yeah. The mouthfeel is very nice, very syrupy. 
it's not just substantial, but it also has a kind of a smoothness, plush, might call it. So also, because we're, we're continuing to drink it, Kevin, and we're getting into it, the, the coffee is taking over. It's telling us to pay attention to what it is, to what it has to say, not to have these expectations of a, of a standard Latin American cup. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just a very different cup. With all due respect to other coffees of the world, it is its own unique. Well, this blend is, Kevin, you know, yeah. This blend, yes. But it's a pretty traditional mocha java. This is the kind of cup that, when I said that there's a kind of a cup style that's worked its way through history in an amazing way, that's, this is a good example of it. This kind of heavier body, complex, resonant, deep, savory, sweet in structure. In this case, these earthy notes, dry earthy notes. Uh, the thing about earth is that at Coffee Review, when we review wet hulled coffees, we tend to like the earth notes to be more like humus and less, less chalky less chalky. Some earth, earthy coffees have a kind of a dry, chalky character that's really, I don't think, very pleasant. And people who like earthy coffees, I think, like the, the kind of moist, humusy kind of, of earth taste. Yeah. In yeah. this case, I think this earth is somewhere in between. <laughs> hey, Ken, does that earth taste, do you think that comes more from the Indonesian oh, yeah. side? It could come, if it's yeah, a real right. mocha, Yemen coffee, it could come from the Yemen. It yeah. could come from there, too. But I think it's wow. mostly the Sumatra or whatever, whatever the Java uh, yeah. component is. The Can Java. we look at it, yeah. see what it is? Yeah, we can, we can do it. He's looking at this one. Here, zoom in. Oh, I want to see right. better. Than, here we go. Here we go. He just had well, to find the, the ring on the That doesn't tell lens. me anything anyhow. This is, of course, uh, Fresh Roasted. Fresh Roasted is the name of the company. They're in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. And th like a lot of roasters, they're kind of imprecise about a few things. They said they're likely to use washed Ethiopian for the uh, mocha. And they narrowed it to Indonesian. Their uh, website says uh, Indonesian Pacific. <laughs> I couldn't get really which of the Indonesians it was. They referenced a Java or a Sumatran. Well, at any rate, I think what it's almost certainly a Sumatra. They could be a wet hulled coffee from elsewhere in Indonesia. But Indonesia, okay. all wet hulled coffees come from Indonesia. That's the only place in the world where this particular processing wrinkle happens. And what does that mean, Ken, well, wet hulled? What it means is that the, it's a washed coffee. In a sense, it's a very small deviation from the standard washed process. The deviation is the parchment skin is removed when the coffee is still moist. But something happens <laughs> with at that point. I don't think anybody understands the chemistry of what happens. If everything happens in, in a kind of fortuitous way, you get this kind of deep, at best, a kind of a fruity earthiness. And the whole trick, the whole skill in these coffees is whoever buys them whether they get a good Sumatra. Whoever bought this Sumatra, assuming it is a Sumatra, was fairly good, but not the best, because if it were really good, it would have a kind of a uh, fruitier character to the earth. No, but it's, it's pretty, pretty good. good now. I was thinking the same thing. Good. It is pretty good. <laughs> In fact, it's lovely, I think. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.